The Pokemon Trading Card Game Live has just been revealed, and it looks amazing. You can play on your phone, your desktop, you can play ranked mode or casual mode. There is a lot to unpack here, so we're going to be taking a look at the new Pokemon Trading Card Game Live client and talking about some of the implications in this video. Here we are on the landing page for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live on Pokemon.com. Right away, you see those new 3D avatars. They're fully customizable. They emote during battle. There's also some new battle animations, a new tabletop experience, a whole lot to be excited about for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. As we scroll down this landing page, you're gonna see a lot of screenshots from this game on mobile. There is a lot of emphasis on this being a mobile application. Right here, we see it in mobile form and on desktop. There is a mobile screenshot right here featuring Pikachu VMAX, and you can build your collection. There's another mobile screen grab right here showing a typical deck layout where you can access your Pokemon, trainers, energy. Something that I noticed right away is that this game looks fantastic on mobile. It looks like it was designed maybe with mobile in mind first and then porting to the desktop kind of after the fact, but that's gonna make this thing really look and operate amazingly on your smart device. So that's something that I think is really exciting about the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, the fact that so much emphasis was put into making this a mobile application. You're gonna be able to queue up for a game of Pokemon cards anywhere which just makes this game so much more accessible and is really exciting from my perspective. It says here, Pokemon TCG Live brings players together from all over the world to battle. It's launching in English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Brazilian Portuguese, so you'll always find a player ready to take you on. And then down at the bottom of the page, there are four more screenshots of the game in its mobile form. Now, I know you've probably got a lot of questions about the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. I know I do too. Many of these questions have been answered by the Pokemon Company. They posted a frequently asked questions page, which I'll link in the description below if you wanna scope that out. I think the most important question Will I be able to transfer my cards from the, yes, yes, you'll be able to transfer your cards from the Pokemon Trading Card Game online to the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. You'll be able to transfer up to four of each card that you own from black and white through Evolving Skies from the Pokemon Trading Card Game online to the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. That means that Heart Gold, Soul Silver cards, that whole block, from pre-black and white that was on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. None of those cards are getting transferred to the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. I think that just makes sense from a development standpoint since there really wasn't any sort of competitive format that existed for the Heart Gold Soul Silver cards. Those are just being left out for now. Now, when the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live launches, it is only gonna be Lost Thunder through Evolving Skies or the most recent set might be Fusion Strike. We don't have an exact date on when the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live is going to launch. They did say it's going to be a soft launch at first, so you're going to be entering into sort of a beta type testing situation where kinks are still being worked out. So this is going to be a evolving game, right? This is gonna be a game that gets updated as things go, and the programmers are going to be working diligently on getting those older sets into playable form as the game gets rolled out. So we're only gonna have Lost Thunder through the most recent Pokemon trading card game set at first, but the plan is to eventually code all the way back to black and white on. Now you might be wondering why in the world can I only transfer up to four of each card from my Pokemon Trading Card Game Online account to the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live? And the answer is because there is no more trade system on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. It's actually great. I could not be more excited about the fact that there is going to be no trade system. And the reason why I am stoked about that is because the trade system can be unfair for new players. Say you wanna get your hands on a Jolteon V, 
it's just a Pokemon V. How much could a Jolteon V cost? Well, it turns out Jolteon V is a very sought after card on the Pokemon trading card game online right now, making it worth like 20 packs, right? So it's very difficult for players to get a hold of one. The new Pokemon trading card game live application is going to value each rarity, it seems, as the same kind of rarity, right? So there's not going to be some Pokemon V that are worth more and others that are worth less. There's not gonna be some V maxes that are worth more and others worth less. When you eliminate trading, all cards are just designated by their rarity, right? So you're not going to have any of these cards that get crazy expensive for no reason. So you might be wondering, how do you get in-game currency? Your extras are going to get turned into an in-game credit that you can use to obtain cards that you don't have, which is why you can only have up to four of each card. You don't really need more than four of each card if you can't trade or give your cards to somebody else. So every card that you obtain in excess of four will get grinded up into credits that you can use to get more cards, whichever cards you want, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Your account on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online is linked up with a player account from Pokemon.com. I think that those accounts are also going to be linked with these new Pokemon trading card game live accounts. So in that way, you will port your collection over from the Pokemon trading card game online to the Pokemon trading card game live. Another very exciting thing about live, there is a ranked mode, a ranked mode. Did you ever want to flex in front of all your friends, show them how good you are at Pokemon cards, but you couldn't make your way out to a tournament or anything like that. We've got a new ranked ladder, which uh, looks as if it is going to give you the opportunity to climb the ranks and maybe obtain some sort of epic ranking, right, that you can show off to all your friends. So that's pretty dope. I uh, definitely am stoked about that. Players have been asking for a ranked mode for what seems like forever, and we finally have a ranks ladder on the Pokemon trading card game online. There's something also called a battle pass. I don't really know what battle pass means, right? It says here, uh, crystals, the third currency, can be used to earn booster packs, promo cards, and special in-game bundles. Crystals can also be used to upgrade your experience to the battle pass or premium pass plus, right? So crystals are another currency which can be used to buy booster packs or promo cards or special in-game bundles. They can also be used to buy this thing called the battle pass. The battle pass probably is something that you maybe pay and then you get access to all the cards if that's the route that you want to go. Uh, maybe like a monthly subscription to have access to just all of the cards uh, all the time, something like that. Could be something that the Pokemon Company International is offering, though I cannot confirm that. That's just my own speculation, right? So we have all these different kinds of currencies. It looks like coins are used for cosmetic items like apparel and emotes for a player's avatar, deck boxes and card sleeves, crystals, uh, which we just talked about, are for your booster packs, your sealed products, things like that. And then you have your, uh, your credits or like your dust or whatever. When you have those extra cards, they get grinded up into credits, right? That you can use to obtain whatever card you want. So that's kind of the general gist of how card obtaining is going to go on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. Again, I am extremely stoked about this. I think that this is a great direction for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, and it makes the game easier to get into for beginners, which I think is really important, right? You want people who are just getting into the Pokemon Trading Card Game and who are just downloading the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. You don't want them to download the application and be like, oh, cool, I wanted to build a Jolteon deck, but I'm priced out of it because everybody wants a Jolteon, right? So it makes sense that all these different cards have the same value based on their rarity. I think that's super dope. I think all in all, this is very, very exciting news that the Pokemon Company is developing this client completely in-house. This means that they are going to be able to respond to our criticisms much more quickly. They are going to be able to maybe host tournaments and things like that more easily as well now that they are no longer working through Direwolf to develop the client. I think that this game looks very 
clean cut, easy to read, should be a fantastic mobile and desktop experience. It's very evident that this is something they put a lot of effort into, making it easy to read and see what's going on. And again, now that the Pokemon company is develop it, developing it completely in-house, it's going to allow them to be much more responsive to the needs we have as a player base. So I think this is incredible news. It's gonna be launching soon. This is the application that I'm gonna be developing all of my content on for the foreseeable future. So this is gonna be the new face of Tricky Jim and a lot of what we do here on the Twitch and YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Pokemon.com, read up about the Pokemon trading card game live. I will also drop the link to the official trailer, which is right here. I'm not going to replay the trailer and do the whole reacting to the 30 second bit. You can watch it for yourself. Let me know what do you think about the Pokemon trading card game live in the description below.